My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a former IRS agent. Uh, I worked at IRS for over a decade. Me and my m and man welcome you to our YouTube channel here. Uh, my YouTubes are short. This one's going to be a little longer because I want to talk to you today about penalty abatements. Um, I used to abate penalties uh, for the Internal Revenue Service as a revenue officer. Um, back in the day, I used to accept them and abate them. And I want you to know right up front, um, there is no magic wand for penalty abatements. Actually, the collection of penalties and interest are figured in the budget. So it takes quite a bit of an effort to go ahead and, and go ahead and um, get penalties and interest abated. If you have a first time failure to file penalty, you can actually call yourself and get that abated over the phone. So other than that, I do want to address this. And if you have a very simple case, you should do it yourself. If your case is kind of a little complex and you have large dollar, don't even try this because your odds are you're not going to get accepted. You just aren't because IRS has a really certain standard to abate penalties. Everyone thinks they can write a page or half page letter or two page and the IRS is, is going to buy it. They just don't. They don't. IRS is really tough on penalties and, and interest because at the end of the day, it is now tax. Interest does not get abated unless it's related to a penalty that gets abated. So just let me tell you, if you do want to do this on your own, your affidavit that you write is everything. It's got to be written in a certain way and it's got to be documented in a certain way. So what you want to do is you should first of all go to my website and